I don't know how any I don't know how to do these videos because I've got about like five different projects going on at once. Yeah. Can't do <laughs> we can't do here's our rudder project or yeah. here's our transom project or yeah. here's us sending the hull or here's the We just need a boat that doesn't need to have <laughs> ten projects on the go at once, aren't Oh, it's never gonna happen though. Alright, well we're getting into work today because Shane's been away since October and so now it's two days before Christmas and he is pulling apart the transom and finishing off the job that he had to leave back in October uh, which is our transom extension project so um, yeah there's no rest for the wicked He's just cutting out the old transom at the moment and then if you can see over there he's going to extend it out like that so we actually have somewhere to step onto when we're trying to dock and when we go for a swim it should make a lot of difference. Check the mic and make sure it sound right boys. Sound right, boy. And while the Spanish party, Shane's been busy trying to extend our transom, it's all foam clamped in place and then he's actually prepped this with under vacuum bag you can see the fiberglass already on the foam ready to go so he only has to laminate the outside skin instead of the inside skin as well Christmas, all action stations here. Yeah, there's all action stations. So, shaped it all last night for the foam, got all glued in place, and now we're putting on. Yeah, my skin. You've already put the inside skin on. Yeah. Before you attach it. Yeah. 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 400 gram double bias, but I've turned this one 90 degrees so it's 090. So I've got an extra layer going on the back here just to make it a little bit bash proof.
sound right, boy. What's today's plan? Grinding? Lots of grinding. Lots and lots of grinding. Maybe some smelly, sticky shit towards the end, but we'll see how we go with the grinding. Yeah, that'll be exciting. So reinforcing the port side case for the dagger board. Yeah. When it came out of the factory, they didn't do any edge capping of the um, dagger board case to the hull. Which is the, what is the edge capping? That's that edge that you're that's putting the, the glass over now, yes? Yeah, so the glass is the capping. Um, and the edge is obviously the edge of the, the case. Slowly sanding all of the anti foul down to the epoxy primer. Was Dad kicked you off the boat? Tess is left. Yeah, he's gonna lift up the boat. Do you know why? So that he can take the blocks out and then he can work on the bottom of the hull. What are we doing, Daddy? Well, oh, I'm gonna We're get dressed. We're lifting the front of the boat up. I'm gonna get dressed. So that we can um, take the remaining blocks out of the front. Winter morning, and here's my man. You happy with it? Slowly coming along. Some more filling to do, the other one's nearly done. So, this is it our transom extension. Now, I don't know if you can see those windows there above the timber. So we don't do any good, we're going to take those out and fill them up as well. Why is it broken? Yeah, uh, because um, I tried knocking it out and then it snapped off, but it's all queen in there. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm knocking all those panels off so that we can fiberglass over them. So why are you using that tool though? Do you think that's the right tool to use? Maybe you should ask your daddy what's the best tool. I'm not using this to pull it off. What are you doing? Slowly taking it off with that. Mm. Well, the screws are out now. Not on all of them, but most of them. There we go, this one comes off pretty easy. Oh, we do it, it's full of water. Oh, don't worry, that whole entire thing was just full of water. Day four of sanding the hull, and Shane's bought me a suit. But I've got quite a bit of it done already. Yeah, so just underneath now. And Harry's been busy. He's um, just taken all of these plastic covers off this beam here. And um, you can see the slime in there. So we know it's definitely good wet. No. What are you doing now? Pulling holes. Pulling holes. That's a little hole. You having fun? Okay, I'm so cold today. Uh, it's raining and I think it's maybe five degrees. Just gotta make a fiberglass housing first. So I've made, um, I took a splash of the 
back of the hull here. Now I've carried that through to here and this fiberglass plate I split it in two and cut it with an offset around the sail drive so this will fit flush with the hull um, with the rubber boot inside uh, so it's reasonably watertightish um, and I've still got to now make a, I've got a fiberglass a, a ring that'll go up inside uh, here a little bit that'll get bolted in place and then once that's bolted and probably a little bit of glue this will then bolt to that flange so it keeps it all firmly in place but it's completely serviceable still that's cool we've got an old america's cup uh, yacht rudder Let's see bright green this is the old spanish ibidrola rudder and making a splash or a quick mold off the uh, the rudder blade so that we can make uh, two new catamaran blades for for our boat alrighty it's still cold but at least it's not raining and a bit exciting this morning because we have two shells made two halves which makes one rudder so we're halfway there we need two of course so now today now that the rain has stopped and there's a promise of blue sky <laughs> uh, we're gonna try well Shane's gonna try I'm gonna try and film him um, we're gonna get rid of this so this is the actual stock hey it's crazy. yeah that's the stock actually I might try and leave these here that helps stiffen the stock a bit. Upstairs, that's in the galley. Probably this one. Oh, I think it's a new galley for mum. Yeah. Five years. This one. Oh, yeah. It's a couple of kilos there, isn't it? Bog. They don't use foam. They just fill it up with bog. It's all full of water. How did it get full of water? Yeah. So the um, you can see the repairs on the bottom here. So it would have got smashed because the bog is really brittle. It just cracks up. And the water just sucks up into all the cracks.
going to have a hundred litres more buoyancy just in our rudder. This is how you make your boat lighter. a long pole. I didn't actually realise that there were those sticky outfits as well. <laughs> this is more typical. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense actually. Yeah. The other one. Ah! <laughs> it's it should just fall off. <laughs> So, given that we had all of that water that we just filmed coming out of it earlier, yep. um, how does it look? So it's it actually looks good. It's, like it's going to be okay, isn't it? it yeah, it's fine. So you're going to make the new splashes waterproof? Alright. Uh -huh. The new one will be waterproof? Yeah, the new one will be waterproof. <laughs> <laughs>